seal this thing up and uh, you know it's a big day. You gotta make it happen. I'm gonna run this cotton all over late late. I'm gonna grind, so y'all stay tuned. <laughs> All right, y'all, sorry. I was a little emotional right then when I opened this video up, but I'm back now. <laughs> this championship day here at Lay Lake, it's time to man up, baby. This is when the big dogs show out. So let's go. We one of them. It's been a, a week full of adversity, rain, clouds, sun. I've ran from dam to dam on this place, and we're going out boat number one. Oh, me. And I'm trying to keep it together here. <laughs> trying my best so we're gonna make it through <clears throat> i'm sick <laughs> can't hardly breathe the stinking pollen done got me but we're gonna go out there and go bass fishing today and try to get this done so i'm gonna fish my heart out <clears throat> try to make some good decisions seal this deal up golly it's gonna be tough it is but i think i got a good game plan i don't know really know what it is <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try to make it work, boys. This is gonna be a fun day. Championship day, Red Cruise. the number one qualifier in the knockout round. He is already a previous Red Crest champion from the great state of Alabama, representing Rapala. Let's hear it for D.C. Dustin Connell! Was you with me the other day when I went? No. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, you was with me the first day, wasn't you? No, I was. Uh, was, was you with me this week at all? No, not um, this week. We Where was, was you at? We won. We won. Uh, Toledo. Toledo, yeah. Was you with me I, championship day? Yeah. Oh yeah, you was. I, was. I forgot. Weaver. I'm sorry. Then I was with Weaver, uh, stage two. Winner. Yeah. Damn, you you so got this luck. Is, this is my third one. You got some luck, son. <laughs> with Wheeler's Tiff. Five, four, three, two, one. Lines in. Begin the 2024 Red Crest Lay Lake. All right. Let's get it started, boys and girls. ABC, we're live. <coughs> we are live. Let's get it on, boys. Oh, it's raining this morning. <clears throat> it's pouring down rain. I'm seeing some out here. Decided to come down the lake this morning. I went up yesterday and checked on some stuff, and they just ain't biting up there early. And I fished this area on day one. I actually made the qualifying rounds here. I made the knockout round here in this zone. I did not come yesterday because I thought I could make the cut up the lake. And we did, so <clears throat> decided to come back down here and try this out this morning and see what's going on. Baby boy. <clears throat> All right, 
right, guys, we're moseying around out here. <clears throat> I've caught one small one. Um, I'm seeing a few here and there. There ain't a ton right through here right now. But there'll be just a, a wad of them show up out of nowhere. So, I'm looking at one right now. We'll make a good pitch on him. We can catch him. I can't hook them, dude. Good Lord. That's what I catch, baby boys. Baby, baby, babies. <clears throat> pressure does to them. What's leading right now? Eight pounds? All right, we're good. Hey, dog, these suckers are pressured. I got to get on some fish that ain't pressured. They, they're here, but my gracious, they're smart. All right, let's, uh, let's go just for a minute right here. Then we're gonna slide up to Blue Springs and try it. Actually, I might go in Lacusa real quick. There's some dang biggins in there. All right, let's go. I'm done right here. I'm about to go up in there in Lacusa. I just think these are pressured. These are done. For me, they're done. That's right. Eight pounds still leading. Finally got one, boys. Finally got one. Dingy. That's almost a three pounder. Two, I'm sorry, three pounds, zero ounces. Three pounder. That's what's up, baby. Three pounder, let's get the party started. I had to get away from them pressured fish down there, at least for me. I mean, it was not <clears throat> popping for me, so I had to. I had to slide. I caught a four pounder in here the other day. <clears throat> the bait ain't in here right now, but a couple fish at least. Where's that put us? 10th place. Eighth place. What's leading? Jesse Wiggins, four fish, 12 pounds, five ounces. Okay. Second place is Talk Hero with 10 pounds, 13 ounces. I'm seeing a few right through here, not a lot, but. I right, just run over here in this little ditch. They're in that one, they might be in this one, and then we're going to Blue Springs, and then we're going to go up.
Almighty, that bait's right here. Good. Please be in here. Stinking bait's in here. Good, good. Oh my gosh. Boom, baby. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's freaking go, my guy. Another three pounder. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Oh! Freaking pump. Three pounds, zero ounce. Dude, I just lost a four pounder and I caught two threes. Let's freaking go, boys. They're in here. I'm on your camera. There we go. Let's freaking go, baby. Three and a half. Let's freaking go. Come on, baby. Let's fire it up, dude. Oh. Four pounder. Four pound, two ounces. Let's go, baby. Four pounder. We came to party this morning. Y'all want to party? <sighs> Boys, they are in here. Please go two for me. Come on, baby. Two pounds, 12 ounces. Thank you, Lord. Let's freaking go. That fish moved you into first place, 12 pounds, 14 ounces. All right. Thank you, Lord. Come on, baby. Keep biting. Keep biting for me. Come on, baby. I just caught them three, and I thought they were in here really good, and I'm not seeing them. They must have went down a little bit more. All right, let's make one more little pass right through here, and then we're going to dip. It's mind-blowing that I only caught three right through there. There was a lot. What score tracker look like? First place is Ron Nelson, 13 pounds, 6 ounces. You're currently in second place with 12 pounds, 14 ounces. So we're Third. 7 ounces out of the lead? Yes, sir. Alright, let me, uh, let me try this ditch out here, farther out. And then we're going to run over here real quick. because my second period my second period I plan on running up spending some time running up
pound, 14 ounces. Chunker, son. That's Lay Lake Coosa River for you, baby. That's why we come right there. That's why we come. We're giving ourselves a chance. We are giving ourselves a chance right now. <clears throat> Heck yeah, boy. They mean, Hammer, they mean. <laughs> then called in the choppers. Look at them, we done got a fleet coming. Two pound, nine ounces. There we go. I showed them that bass. Get to the chopper. Skinny. God to mighty. Ain't that some bad luck? That sucker's skinny. That gummit. Oh yeah, he did it. Two pound, one ounce. Boom. Oh head. Head came to party. Come on. Oh good old Largy. They ain't got much play by me this week, but I'll take one. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mooch minnow. I've caught all them fish on that bait right there. Same one. What's that put us? Currently in first place with 21 pounds, six ounces. Second place is Ron Nelson, 20 pounds, eight ounces. He caught another one. Was that again? Did he catch another fish? Yes, he did. Dang, it's going to be hard to go blow for blow with him because he's on some big ones. Ryan Nelson just caught another three pounds, two ounce, moving him back into first place. 23 pounds, 10 ounces. You got 21 pounds, six ounces. You need two pounds, five ounces, move back into the lead. Gosh, you come on. That gum it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lines up. All right, y'all. That's in the first period. Went as good as I could hope for, but I did lose two fish, two good ones. It is what it is. <clears throat> we could have had about a thirty-pound period, I think. Golly, I rolled in this area. And they were in here, and I'm, I'm on. Ease around a little more. I'm gonna check one more place and then we're going up. So we'll see. All right, y'all, that's the end of the first period. <clears throat> we're in second. We made a good call. We came down the lake, catch them on Mooch Minnow. I did lose a couple, but Ron has got like a six pound lead. Okay, so now I gotta make a decision what I wanna do. Hang around here and catch one here, catch one there, or go up and smash. And I think we can go up and go bop, 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 and get even and then go blow for blow with him up there. But there's some fish right through here right now. If I can catch two four pounders before we leave, we'll be sitting okay. So. Five, four, three, two, one. Lines in. We're getting second period. 2024 Red Crest Lay Lake. All right. ADC, we're live. All right, y'all. 
we're back in a good area i mean we're we're back here they're they're actually showing up a little bit better now that it's getting a little bit more light God Almighty! I don't understand why. Dang it! Dude, I have not fished clean. I cannot have that crap happen. Dang it! Three pounder, man. Dang it! Big spot. Stay hooked, baby. Please, I just lost a three pounder. Yeah, baby. Boom, that's a hammer. Could have been seven pounds right then. Thank you, Lord. Four pound, one ounce. Four pounder. Look, look at the belly, son. That's why we come right there. Thank you. Gosh, I just lost a three, too. Dang it. But we made it up. Stay hooked up, fish. Please, baby. Please stay hooked. Please stay hooked. Mm hmm Another four-pounder, son. We on a freaking bag. We on a bag in here, boys. Huh. Huh. 20 pounds of spots. Four pound, one ounce. 20 pound, five fish limit right there, baby. Look at that. Ah, boom! Oh, son. That's a tank right there. Boom! Yeah! Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, fish. Thank you for being right there. Oh! Thank you, Lord. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, maybe, just maybe. Come on, fish, yes. Two pound, three ounces. Dustin, you have 31 pound, 11 ounces. Second place, Ryan Nelson, 27 pounds, 13 ounces. You have a three pound, 15 ounce lead. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Come on, I seen it. Two pounds, zero ounces. There we go, baby. Boom! That's what's up. That is what's up. Thank you, Lord. They're biting. If I can just get them to keep on doing it. Trying to stay focused and make good cast and I can't hook them. 
I cannot hook them. That's not a bass. I'm just expanding on a lot of stuff. Like I'm expanding in and around some areas. The bait's in here really, really, really good. I got some stuff that's up the lake, but I don't want to go up there yet because they're biting in here. So <clears throat> we're just going to stay focused where we're at and see what we can muster up. Pound, 12 ounces. 12, let's freaking go, baby. Let's freaking go. Dustin, you now have 36 pounds, 5 ounces. You have an 8 pound, 9 ounce lead over Ron Nelson. Okay. Heck yeah. Yes. Yeah. Come on. I was literally just talking about leaving. Oh, I got a place up there I can pull up and smash on, but if they're biting, I might as well just stay. I don't know what to do. I literally have no idea what to do. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, y'all. <clears throat> I got to make a decision. I don't really know if I need to stay or go. I mean, it has definitely slowed down for me. And the only downside is they're cutting it down, the water down to one one unit up the river. What time is it right now? 12.45. They're cutting it down to one unit at 1 p.m. So I'll, I need that flow to keep going. So I don't, gosh, I'm torn between going and staying. I don't, I don't really know. Golly. But we're in a good position right now. <laughs> so it's a good problem to have. I don't know. I got some places down the lake I'm making catch some. We'll, we'll figure it out. The bait is starting to get back congregated. See, there went one right there just blowed up. <clears throat> we'll give this like 10 minutes right here and then we'll dip. Just see what's happening. I mean, I don't know if I catch, if I catch one in the next 15 minutes when we get done break, we'll stay. But here's the thing. I could use that time that I'm running up there to catch two. He's got to catch 26 pounds. But if I catch two, one of them's a three and a two, he's now got to catch 30 pounds. So do I maximize my time by just staying here and trying to grind it out? Because I think in two and a half hours, I can catch two to four fish. Maybe five to six, who knows, three three to five who knows so <clears throat> I don't really know what the answer is <laughs> it's a very important decision 
and I think I can go up there and catch them. I do. But I don't want there to be a boat there, and I don't want someone had been there catching them, like a local or something all day, but that's a risk that you got to take. So... I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, if I was down big time, it's like, let's freaking go. But that's a risky move going all the way up there because with one turbine on, if they're not biting, you're stranded up there. You know what I mean? Then you can't run all the way back down here. And if they're not biting up there, you're like, damn, we need to go. And you wasted two hours of riding or an hour and a half. Because I'm not going all the way to that dam. If I was in a bad spot right now, I would. But we're in a good spot. And I think we can catch a few here and there. Five, four, three, two, one. Lines in. Area All right, y'all. 2024, red crest, lay loose. All right, guys. Here we go, last period. Let's see if we can make a good decision. Make good cast. And wrap it up. But I don't know. Golly, I don't know what I want to do. Like I said, I've got one or two places that are up the river that are really good, but I hate to just run up there on a whim and leave these fish because <clears throat> if I can catch, let's say we catch five this period, then that would be 15 pounds probably. You know, so. I don't know. We're just going to have to fish and find out. Two pound five ounces. Two five. Yeah, baby. Well, Dustin, you got sixty five pound seven ounces. You got twenty five pound fifteen ounce lead over Ron Nelson, second place. They hooked up. Please fish, stay hooked up baby, please I need you so bad, it's a big one. That right there make me feel a lot better, boys. Golly, that's a big one, too. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Lord. It's raining out here. I just got to admire you real quick. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Man. All right. That tells us what we need to do. We need to just chill. We need to just chill. We're not going to go up. 
Hold on, take our time. Make really good cast. And just try to do the best we can. And Dustin, you currently have 69 pounds, two ounces. You have 29 pounds, nine ounce lead. Yeah, Over that's what we need right there. That is what we need right there, boys. ADC, we're live. How about an update? Well, it's raining. And I'm trying my best to keep pouring the gas. They're getting smart, though. Man, they're getting smart. I'm just trying to act like we ain't got no lead at all, and let's just pound this thing out. To me, we have zero lead. I really, really want to catch two or three more. I hate these little lulls. But it looks like it's kind of slowing down for a majority of people. Hopefully it stays that way, but. I think so. I think so, boys. I don't know. Come on, baby. Give me like a... Please go fish. I'm begging you, son. Two pounds, four ounces. Yes. <laughs> there we go, baby. Thank you, Lord. Oh, me. I'm just moseying around. Easing around. Skeezing around. Oh, there's still a bass or two in here. I've been in here all day. I thought I'd caught them all. There's still a few in here. Baby boys. Need that time to tick, son. Just keep on ticking, please. Please, please, please. I did not intend on doing this, y'all. I mean, I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. I had intended on coming down here to try to get a good base and then go up. <clears throat> But I pulled in here and I caught a four pounder the other day and a three pounder. And I went, huh. And what's happening is a lot of this bait, these fish are staging. Like they've spots getting on bed in like a week or two. They're not on beds yet, <clears throat> but they're staging hard. So they, they're starting to transition off that main. And they get in these little bays really good this time of year. And you know what's crazy about this place? I've never caught them like this here. Never have. But I came, in the, <clears throat> I came into this tournament and told myself I was gonna fish Lay Lake like I would any other lake, like brand new. <clears throat> I'm not running off history. Yesterday I ran off history a little bit and it got me in trouble. Well, I say that, we won the round, but won the knockout round, but I was about to be in a bind. Let me get an update, please. Yes, sir. Alton Jones Jr. has caught a three pound, zero ounce, and also a two pound, five ounce. You still have a 26 pound, eight ounce lead over okay. second place. Stay hooked up, it's a big one. Stay hooked up, fish. Please, baby. Stay on, she's big. 
Stay hooked, please, 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 please stay hooked. Please stay hooked. Please stay hooked. Please fish. Please fish. Please fish. Yeah! Boom, baby! That's what's up. Mm. Mooch minnow all day long. In the rain, don't matter. Yeah! Heck yes. Three pound, three ounces. <clears throat> That's for you, Vic and Trent. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Stay over, fish. Yes! Boom! Let's freaking go, son! Woo! Oh, God. It's getting good now. Two pounds, nine ounces. Boom, baby! Coosa River. Oh, home sweet home, son. I ain't never caught them in here like this, ever. 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 Caught one in here the other day. It was a four pounder. And I noticed the bait was in here. And I was like, huh. And typically when you get above those narrows, you're catching catfish in just a few big spots. Here and there. They done moved up in here. Dustin, you now have 77 pound, two ounces. You have a 32 pound, four ounce lead over Alton Jones Jr. Heck yeah. How much time do we have left? 56 minutes. Okay. Is our lead still the same? We've got 28 pounds, one ounce lead. Okay. Maybe, maybe, that might be the dagger, I don't know. Please, that's him, son. <laughs> Two pounds, six ounces. Boom, boom, baby, let's freaking go, son. Boom. I can't believe this happened. Oh, I cannot believe this happened, boys. Oh. God, I can't believe this happened. Mm. What's my lead? 30 pounds, 7 ounces. <clears throat> How many minutes we got? 34 minutes. Still 30 pounds? 30 pounds, seven ounces. Boom. Let's freaking go, baby.
ball game, baby. Let's freaking go. Yeah, sword. Boom. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Oh, I love them. Mm. I grew up fishing for these things, man. Since when I was 12 years old. Unbelievable. God. On this lake. Lake Mitchell and Lake Jordan. So I'm gonna try to get through this story. <laughs> I, uh, you know, when I was like 13, uh, 12, 13 years old, me and my brother got a uh, an Alumacraft little boat, and uh, man, I'm shook up, boys. <laughs> We got a little Luma Craft boat and we put in down there at the Flatlands. And uh, that was the first boat we ever had. And uh, there's a piling down there. It has a number five on it. We pulled up right there and we threw a spook and we had some of the biggest blow ups right there when I was like 12, 13 years old. That was 20 years ago. And I've been fishing this lake, you know, ever since. and. Uh, when I couldn't go with my brother, I'd get my mom to come down here and put in a canoe for me. And uh, I'd go canoe around right there around the boat ramp when I was 13, 12, 13 years old and I'd catch some. And um, Then we fished night tournaments up here, you know, Thursday night, Saturday night, and, you know, and I, I met a lot of really great people on this lake, so. Did not really expect it to go down like it happened today, I can just tell you that. My whole plan was to come down here and <clears throat> try to catch some spots, you know, early, because that, that stuff up there yesterday was dead, man. I went up the river and, you know, I made the qualifying rounds. I made the knockout round down this lake down there and pitching a mooch minnow and I had a lot of really good areas down there, but they were getting a lot of pressure. And I was like, God, man. And I ran up the second qualifying day with an hour and a half left and I caught some and I was like, all right, I don't know where to go. I ain't got a clue. So I just picked up yesterday and it, it was a grind, man. And it, it got me really worried. And I mean, I had one or two places up there that had fish on them, but it wasn't easy so my my plan was thank you i appreciate you my plan was to come down here and just try to go blow for blow with all these boys if i could and i rolled in over here at lacusa and it went down boy <laughs> one of the best days i've ever had on this lake and it was the right day <laughs> How long we got? Five minutes. But I came, you know, when they announced this tournament, I said, oh man, that can be real special. Because I love this time of year, you know, the spots are starting to get up there on bed, but they ain't really up there that good. And I knew it was gonna be kind of a pre-spawn spot deal. And you know, you catch some largemouth too, but this place is just known for big spots and this whole system and that's just what I love doing. I love catching spotted bass. I always have. I'm done, boys.
Damn. Oh, God, I'm shook up, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, st I still can't believe this happened. I, I really can't. You know, these guys are the best in the world, and I'm, I'm just really fortunate. You know, it's a dream for me to be out here. It is. When you know, I shook, I was sitting beside the boat dock beside Kevin. You know, the the second day of the tournament, and I pulled up, and I didn't really want to be beside him because I was like, oh my gosh, you know. And every time I see him, I'm still starstruck to this day. And Edwin, all these guys, man. And it, I mean, dude, just. I, st I gotta pinch myself all the time. And uh, I just love bass fishing, that's just it. I, I go any chance I can. I mean, I'm out here, before pre-practice, I was out here in the super cold wind, it didn't even matter. I was out here just practicing, trying to keep an open mind on this lake. And now it's over, it's, it's finally done. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations. Dusty Fine Yard 2024, Red Crest Champion. God, man. I want to thank all my family and my, my friends for supporting me this week. Uh, you know, it meant a lot to see everybody at the boat ramp and just hometown crowd here on Lay Lake. There was a ton of people there on the boat dock this morning and it uh, meant a lot to me and, you know, seeing my all my family, Victoria's family. Um, I just want to thank my wife for so, being so supportive for me when I'm on the road and we're expecting a, <laughs> a little boy in April and, uh, so what a what a treat what a treat before i become a dad so but uh we got it done baby Woo! thank you lord it's finally over i've worried about this tournament for so long <laughs> I, I, i'll mean sleepless nights <laughs> I could not sleep none this week. I was so worried. I was doing the rain dance. I was like, I ain't better. I'm hoping there's like gonna blow that thing out because there ain't no way. Crap just happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. We just won Red Crest. Two times. Two times. Hey. Out of five years. You go, hey, dude. 40%. Unbelievable. Yeah, real quick. Got to go. Gotcha. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, be safe, All right, man. Let's go. Let's go. Ain't no doubt. Let's hey, freaking go, I'll baby. I'll see you in Beehive. For one? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. As soon as that one o'clock, you know, it, it obviously dropped. It. it got weird. No, it turned into a catfish hole. I mean, the catfish were all uh, in there. were just... Good Lord. Slime pit. They were just eating. Ooh. We in this thing. Let's go. Yeah. All right. How you doing? All right. Good to see you, buddy. What a day. We saw you on the big screen all day long. I can only the, imagine the uh, the emotional change that we had when you launched this morning. Very emotional. Then there throughout the day, you rode that wave and really put a great effort in. I was a train wreck this morning at the boat <laughs> ramp, man. I was. I looked over. I seen my brother, my mom, and all them. My wife and Courtney and you know all my family there. And I was like, God, this is tough on me. You know, I was walking through the boat ramp and I was shook up. You know, because 
this lake means a lot to me and uh it ain't really it wasn't my favorite but now it is <laughs> You know, when did the, when did you feel that tide turn as far as your catching and uh, really progressing and then just seeing the weight you were stacking? Right when I set the boat down, you know, I was using my Lowrance uh, electronics and I, I set the boat down and I seen on my 2D immediately, there was just a wall of shad right there. And I said, oh boy. And all the clouds and the rain had all the bait pushed up and I was like, it's about to go down. And it did, big time. You know, you know, let's uh, let's talk about it. What a progression of a career. Uh, early uh, in your career, you got a win, but then you hit the stages. Uh, now, a two-time Red Crest champion. Man, you, you've really taken off. And, and the confidence that you get with these wins, is it, it, you can see it in your face and on the water when we watch it. Yeah, you know, it's been crazy just to watch all this unfold. And uh, it's been a dream for me. And, uh, you know, I, I live my dream every day. And I, like I said, I said it on live. I look up to these guys all the time. Skeet came up to me a while ago and told me congrats and gave me a big hug. And, you know, all these guys, I, I look up to them. You know, even Jacob, man, I, 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 all my roommates, they're, they're, they're awesome. And it's just, it's just all the support. All, that's what helps me. You know, my wife, you know, all my family being there this morning. And uh, it just means a lot to me, to, you know, even Brett, my camera guy, I have to talk to him, I give him a shout out. Um, <laughs> and, 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 and he does a lot of the video work for me. He does a great job. And, uh, but all the support for me, I got a, a, I got a big shout out to all my sponsors too. Uh, Bass Pro Shops, Johnny Morse, Triton, Rapala, Dan Quinn, appreciate you big dog coming up. And, uh, you know, all of them, Realtree, it goes down the list, Seaguar, Miller Tech, um, all, everybody that, that's behind the scenes that helps me get out here, that, that's what really gives me a lot of comfort and support behind the scenes. So they, they're calling and texting saying, man, go catch them tomorrow. So, and all of y'all, let's, let's turn it up one time. <laughs> Presented by Alcohol Lithium in his hands. We just won the Red Crest. Let's freaking go. Twice! Twice! Twice. Yeah! That's what you're going to stand. You know what to do. He's going to pick it up. Everyone's going to get loud. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2020 Red Crest y'all i have a okay. a cardboard sign right okay. here yep we will do it we'll be out let's freaking go Woo! Woo! Baby, Woo! Go. 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 that's what i'm talking about <laughs> hey look got, 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 all, got all my friends here from from back home and uh got my beautiful wife here she's uh she's tired i'm tired we're all tired thank y'all for tuning in this video uh amazing day blessed day god is good it's definitely blessed us and all our friends. Y'all like, subscribe. We'll see you. Peace. Amen.